Kempegada International Airport IATA, BLR, ICAO, VOBL, is an international airport serving Bengaluru, the capital of the Indian state of Karnataka. Spread over 4,000 acres 1, hectares, it is located about 40 kilometers 25 miles north of the city near the village of Devanahalli. It is owned and operated by Bengaluru International Airport Limited Beale, a public-private consortium. The airport opened in May 2008 as an alternative to increased congestion at HAL Airport, the original primary commercial airport serving the city. It is named after Kemp Gowda I, the founder of Bengaluru. Kempegada International Airport became Karnataka's first fully solar powered airport developed by Cleanmax Solar. Kempegada Airport is the third busiest airport by passenger traffic in the country, behind the airports in Delhi and Mumbai, and is the 34th busiest airport in Asia. It handled over 25.04 million passengers in calendar year 2017 with over 600 aircraft movements a day. The airport also handled about 314,060 tons, 346,190 short tons of cargo. The airport consists of a single runway and passenger terminal, which handles both domestic and international operations. A second runway is being constructed and is expected to be operational by September 2019, while a second terminal is in the early stages of construction. In addition, there is a cargo village and three cargo terminals. The airport serves as a hub for AirAsia India, Alliance Air, Jet Airways and Indigo and a focus city for Air India and SpiceJet. History Topic planning 1991 The original airport serving Bengaluru was HAL Airport, located 10 km miles from the city centre. However, as Bengaluru grew into the Silicon Valley of India and passenger traffic to the city rose, the airport was unable to cope. There was no room for expansion and the apron could only park six aircraft. In March 1991, former chairman of the National Airports Authority of India S. Ramanathan convened a panel to select the site for a new airport. The panel decided on Devanahalli, a village about 40 kilometres north of Bengaluru. The state government made a proposal to build the airport with private assistance, which the union government approved in 1994. In December 1995, a consortium consisting of Tata Group, Raytheon, and Singapore Chani Airport signed a memorandum of understanding with the state government regarding participation in the project. In June 1998, however, the consortium announced it was pulling out of the project due to delays in government approval. These included disputes over the location of the airport and the fate of HAL Airport. In May 1999, the Airports Authority of India (AAI) and the Karnataka State Industrial and Infrastructure Development Corporation (KSIIDC) of the state government signed a memorandum of understanding regarding the nature of the project. It would be a public-private partnership with AAI and KSIIDC having a 26% share and private companies having the remaining 74%. In January 2001, the state government created the company Bengaluru International Airport Limited as a special purpose entity and began searching for partners. By November, the project had attracted unique Zurich Airport, Siemens Project Ventures and Larsen and Tubro. Construction was expected to begin in October 2002, however, governmental delays persisted. The concession agreement between the state government, the union government and Beale was signed in July 2004. In it, Beale required the closure of HAL Airport. Topic: <laughs> Construction and Opening 2005 to 2008. Construction finally commenced on the 2nd of July 2005. When a study predicted the airport would receive 6.7 million passengers in 2008, the airport was redesigned from its initial capacity of 4.5 million passengers to 11 million, with the terminal size expanded and the number of aircraft stands increased. The cost of the airport rose to 1,930 crore rupees $270 million. Construction was completed in 32 months, and Beale set the launch date for 30 March 2008. 
However, due to delays in establishing air traffic control services at the airport, the launch date was pushed to the 11th of May and finally the 24th of May 2008. As the opening date for the airport approached, public criticism arose, mainly directed toward the closure of HAL Airport. In March 2008, AAI employees conducted a massive strike against the closure of HAL Airport along with Begumpet Airport in Hyderabad, fearing they would lose their jobs. The Bangalore City Connect Foundation, a group of citizens and businessmen, staged a rally in mid-May, claiming the new airport was too small for the latest demand projections. On 23 May, a hearing was held at the Karnataka High Court over poor connectivity between the city and the airport. Ultimately, the state government decided to go ahead with inaugurating the new airport and closing HAL Airport. The first flight to the airport, Air India Flight 609 from Mumbai, was allowed to land the previous night as it would be continuing to Singapore shortly after midnight. The aircraft touched down at 10.40 p.m. on 23 May. The airport became the third Greenfield Airport under a public-private partnership to open in India, after Rajiv Gandhi International Airport in Hyderabad and Cochin International Airport. Renaming and expansion 2009 -2013. The original name of the airport was Bengaluru International Airport. In February 2009, the state government sent a proposal to the union government to rename the airport after the founder of Bengaluru, Kemp Gowda I. When no action was taken, the state government passed a resolution for the name change in December 2011. The union government accepted the proposal in 2012 and formally approved it in July 2013. The airport was officially renamed Kempagata International Airport on 14 December 2013 amid the inauguration of the expanded terminal building. Kingfisher Airlines once operated a hub and was one of the largest airlines at Kempagata Airport. Following its collapse in October 2012, other airlines stepped in to fill the gap in domestic connectivity by adding more flights. In addition, Air Pegasus and AirAsia India launched hub operations at the airport in 2014. The first phase of expansion was launched in June 2011 and finished in December 2013. The 1,500 crore rupees $210 million project doubled the size of the passenger terminal to 150,556 square meters (1,620,570 square feet), involving the construction of additional facilities for check-in, immigration, security, and baggage reclaim. One domestic gate and three international gates were added as well. A large, sweeping roof connects the original building with the expanded areas. The expanded terminal, dubbed Terminal 1A, has raised the annual passenger capacity of the airport to 20 million. Topic: <inaudible> Ownership. The airport is owned and operated by Bengaluru International Airport Limited (BIL), a public limited company. The Government of India has granted Beale the right to operate the airport for 30 years, with the option to continue for another 30 years. The company is a public-private consortium venture. 26% is held by government entities Karnataka State Industrial Investment and Development Corporation 13% and Airports Authority of India 13% and 74% is held by private companies Fairfax Financial 48% and Siemens Project Ventures 26%. Topic Facilities Topic Runways Kempagata Airport has one runway in use with another under construction. Runway 09, 27 to 4,000 by 45 meters, 13,123 feet times 148 feet, Cat I, ILS equipped, four years after it was laid, the runway was entirely resurfaced because of a serious decline in quality. From the 11th of March to the 3rd of April 2012, it was closed daily between 10:30 a.m. and 5:30 p.m. As a result, Beale accused construction company Larson and Tubro of building the runway poorly. South of runway 0927 are a full-length parallel taxiway and the apron, which extends from the Blue Dart DHL terminal to the passenger terminal. The second runway is under construction at the airport. The runway will cater to all types of aircraft including Code F aircraft like Airbus A380 and Boeing 747-8 and will be equipped with CAT IIIBILS. 
The runway will also feature an associated parallel taxiway and two cross-field taxiways on the east linking the new runway to the existing north runway and the aprons at Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. The existing runway will also be upgraded as part of the expansion work. Initial work on the new 4,000 m by 60 m parallel runway began in February 2016. After completion, this will be the 09R-27L runway and the other runway will be named 09L-27R. Terminals Terminal 1 accommodates both domestic and international operations. It covers 150,556 square meters, 1,620,570 square feet and can handle 20 million passengers annually. Check-in and baggage reclaim are situated on the lower floor, while all departure gates are located on the upper floor. There are a total of 12 gates, 6 domestic gates, gates 1, 2, 7, 8, 9, 15, and 6 international gates, 16, 17, 18, 21 to 22, 23 to 24, 25 to 26. Gate 25 to 26 is equipped to serve the world's largest passenger aircraft, the Airbus A380. Lounges are provided by above ground level and Plaza Premium Lounge, which also operates a day hotel in the terminal. For VIPs there is a separate 930 square meter 10,000 square feet lounge. Under the second phase of the airport's expansion a new terminal called Terminal 2 is being built. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Airlines and destinations. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Passenger Topic. Cargo The following cargo airlines fly to the airport. Topic. Other facilities Topic. Aviation fuel services The airport has a fuel farm, spread over 11 acres 4.5 hectares west of the cargo village and passenger terminal. It was built by Indian Oil Skytanking Limited IOSL but is shared by multiple oil companies. In October 2008, Indian Oil commissioned a 36-kilometre fuel pipeline between its storage terminal in Devanaganthi and Kempagada Airport. Previously, jet fuel had to be transported to the airport by tank trucks, which created traffic and pollution problems. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Cargo facilities. Kempagada Airport has 3 cargo terminals. One is operated by Menzies Aviation Baba Private Limited and has a capacity for 150,000 tons, 170,000 short tons of cargo. It includes a facility for storing pharmaceuticals. Air India Sats AISATS operates one terminal which can handle 200,000 tons, 220,000 short tons of cargo. AISATS is also constructing the AISATS coolport, which will be able to hold 40,000 tons, 44,000 short tons of perishable goods. Lastly, DHL and Blue Dart Aviation jointly operate a 20,500 square meter, 221,000 square feet terminal. Beale inaugurated a separate cargo village in December 2008. The village is spread over 11 acres 4.5 hectares and includes office space, conference rooms, a cafeteria for staff and parking space for nearly 80 trucks. It did not open for occupation until 2010 and initially suffered low occupancy, which some cargo agents attributed to the opening delay, high rent and limited infrastructure. Topic: <laughs> Connectivity Topic. Road Kempagata Airport is connected to the city of Bengaluru by National Highway 44 NH44. In January 2014, a six-lane flyover was completed over NH44 between Hebel and the airport, helping to reduce travel time to and from the city. 
Two alternative routes are under construction and will be completed by March 2017, one through Thanissandra and the other through Henor. The airport car park is located at ground level and can hold 2,000 vehicles. The airport is served by several taxi and rental car companies. In addition, ride sharing companies Ola and Uber have their own pickup zones outside the terminal. The Bangalore Metropolitan Transport Corporation BMTC provides bus transportation to major parts of the city through the Vayu Vajra Kanada for Diamond in the Air service. It is operated using a fleet of Volvo B7 RLE buses. In addition, the Karnataka State Road Transport Corporation KSRTC operates a non-stop bus service called Flybus between Kempagata Airport and Mysore, as well as a route to Manipal via Mangalore. Rail A Nama metro link between Bengaluru City and the airport is planned with two stations at the airport. It will be an extension of the Gadagir Nagawara line. A high-speed rail link was previously considered and went as far as obtaining approval from the union government. However, the project was eventually scrapped because of high costs and the lack of stops along the line. Topic future plans The second phase of expansion is underway, which encompasses the construction of a second runway and passenger terminal. When complete, Kempagata Airport will be able to handle 55 million passengers per year. The estimated 4,000 crore rupees $560 million project received clearance from the Ministry of Environment and Forests in September 2014. Ground work on the second runway began in February 2016 and the runway is expected to be operative by September 2019. Located south of the original terminal, it will be parallel to runway 09, 27 and measure 4,000 by 60 meters 13,120 feet times 200 feet, wider than the original runway so it can accommodate larger aircraft. The new runway will also be CAT 3 certified, allowing for landings in fog and other low visibility conditions. A second terminal will be constructed to cater to the airport's growth. Terminal 2 has been designed by Skidmore, Owings and Merrill. The contract to construct Terminal 2 has also been awarded to Larson and Tubro which will be constructed in two phases. In the first phase, the terminal will cater to 25 million passengers annually. Terminal 2 is estimated to cost 3,036.90 crore rupees $420 million. A third runway, north of the current runway is being planned to cater to the growth of air traffic in the airport. This runway will be situated 1,500 meters north of the current runway. See also List of airports in Karnataka <laughs>